the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Praise the Lord, dear friends. Uh, today is the Word of God describes what Christians are going through all over the world, though some of us are not aware of it or uh, indifferent to it. Uh, the Word of God is very clear as what's happening and what's going to happen uh, to us. Uh, look with me in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, verse 22b. It is through many persecutions that we must enter the kingdom of God. Uh, all over the world, uh, persecutions of Christians are happening, um, some directly, some in a very subtle way, where you are denied uh, even a job uh, because uh, you you will because of your beliefs, whereas other people's uh, faith and beliefs are encouraged and propagated. But uh, as a Christian, it is becoming daily very difficult uh, to live our faith, uh, to uh, live in freedom, uh, because uh, you nay you would bear the name of Christ. And as the Word of God is telling us, persecutions have not stopped uh, even after. Um, uh, may, many centuries, even in this 21st century, that uh, is going on, whether it is in uh, North Africa, North Korea, uh, in every place that there is uh, persecution. And recently in my own country, India, Manipur, where churches are being burned down, and uh, it is portrayed as a uh, as something the clash between tribals. Uh, however, there is uh, that uh, underlying um, uh, agenda where uh, you want to get rid of Christians, you want to get rid of the faith. However, this is not going to happen because Christ himself has, uh, uh, has declared that the gates of uh, hell uh, shall not prevail against uh, the kingdom of God, against the church. And so let's pray, let's be bold, and let's be ready for the persecutions. And uh, don't uh, give up uh, and don't quit in the face of persecution and exercise our faith and believe in our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Savior of the world. May this word of God help you to be strong and be bold in proclaiming the gospel. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.